me just run through my roving barbell and chub rig. Everything is kept as simple as it can be. Um, I've got a 10 pound main line and free running on the main line is a one to maybe a one and a half ounce uh, gripper lead. That is buffeted down to a quick change bead and then the hook link, I vary that between maybe eight and 15 inches um, of just a braided 10 pound hook link. Um, I've stripped the whole of the coating off that braid. It just gives it a little bit more flexibility down to a size eight barbless hook with a 13 mil hard pellet, drilled pellet. And what I actually do is around this gripper lead is I've got some actually four and six mil pellets, which I actually, the night before I come fishing, I just pour hot water on there, scald them, leave them for two minutes with the water just over the top and then pour all the water off. Don't go mixing them because at the bottom of that actual pellet, it will go really pasty and you need that to actually form this consistency. And all I do is get a handful, as you can see there, drop the gripper lead in. It's quite spongy. And what you just need to do is just get a small handful and just drop that onto the lead. That's going to cling to it, but when it actually hits the bottom of the river, it all breaks up. The actual paste goes into sort of a powder and a cloud. Loads of uh, attractants are actually sent off down, downstream. And the fish come in, and there you have it, a 13 mil pellet just sitting in amongst it. Uh, really, really an instant rig. Um, 20 minutes in a swim, but to be perfectly honest, if you've got fish in your swim, you're going to know within seconds you know it's literally that quick knock knock on the rod tip and if the actual fish get really really clever um, the bigger chub I caught earlier today the six I had the same problem lots of knocks I just get some of the actual mix and I just school just actually mold it in my hand and then I just actually place that around the pellet and what you want to do is just bring the hook so it just comes out of the actual paste as you can see there. Sometimes fish get used to or associate, you know, a squarish or a, a barrel shaped pellet as danger. So all of a sudden a big lump of uh, paste, they just can't find, you know, just can't resist that. A really, really simple rig that will catch you lots and lots of barbel and chub. Uh, not just in the summer, you can use this rig up into the autumn and the early part of the winter. Uh, one thing you have to remember though is don't be afraid to make really small changes, shortening, lengthening your hook link, um, size of the hook, can, you can sh go down a size if you're getting lots of little knocks and as I showed today, just getting some of the pellet and moulding a bit of paste around the pellet. Um, tiny changes can make all the difference on days and uh, a frustrating day becomes a red letter day, so uh, there you have it. Well, today I've actually come out with my target species being barbel, and I've actually made a few kind of like trying to avoid the chub, and I've made up a rig quite short, a short uh, rig. Um, and I've had a few little knocks, I've just had a knock then. So basically what happens with a short, short hook link is a chub picks up the bait and it fills the weight of the lead and then drops the actual bait. Um, Whereas a barbel is much more kind of greedier and it doesn't really, uh, it's not that shy like a, or clever as a chub I would say. So uh, it comes along and uh, just picks it up and hooks itself on the weight of the actual lead. It's a lot more clumsy a barbel but I've kind of gone through a lot of swims today and um, I've had a few knocks. I've had a couple of knocks in this swim which might be chub picking up the, uh, the bait and as I said getting rid of it because they're feeling the resistance. The last swim up there I had exactly the same. And what's going through my foot mind at the moment is um, that maybe there's just something going on where the barbel are also a little bit cagey today and they're coming up and feeling it. So when I've actually removed this rig from this swim I'm going to actually tie up a new rig along the length hook link with a longer hair and um, just see or, or tot a hair with the bait tight on the hook and just to see if that makes any difference to uh, we might catch a few more chub but we might just catch a barbel out if, if there is thought in the, you know what I'm thinking at the moment so um, yeah certainly conditions are perfect raining 
overcast, a bit of colour in the water, mild, but it's just not happening. Keeping out of the way because I've got red on. Well, I've just settled down in uh, one of my sort of banker swims, and uh, as I'm just sitting there, I'm just getting a few knocks on me rod, thinking, here we go. And uh, obviously, I've taken my jacket off as well and put, got me red top on, which isn't um, the best sort of colour with bulls about. And this big boy's just come right up and stood within a few. Uh, few yards of me and uh, I'm glad he's just, um, his lady friends have just moved off and uh, he had a right good look at me and uh, there was no uh, steam coming out his nose and he wasn't actually uh, scraping his feet as if he was going to charge so I just ducked down behind this vegetation and um, luckily he's, um, he's passed on, food's more on his mind than me. I think uh, I think we're okay now.